Good morning. We are going to get started on a new project today and we're going to be working with two of the elements of design. The first being line and the second being color. Now you know all about line and different types of lines and things like that. So we really don't need to talk a whole lot about line. You also know a lot about color, but we're going to be working with two groups of colors. Um, one called the analogous colors and one called the complementary colors. I'm also going to attach a color wheel in Canvas and I will show it in this video um, so that you can reference something or look at it in case you forget what those colors are. So um, the complementary colors are colors that are directly across from one another on the color wheel. It's Easier for me to remember the complementary colors if I think about a few different things. For example, if you're a football fan, the Minnesota Vikings team colors are purple and yellow. Those are complementary colors. The Chicago Bears are green, or I'm sorry, not green, orange and blue. Uh, sorry, but the Packers, they aren't complementary colors. Um, but the other group of colors would be green and red. And I tend to think about Christmas colors when I talk about the complements green and red. Um, for analogous colors, they are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So um, it can be a, a variety of colors like yellow and green or yellows and blues. Um, it's easier to look at a color wheel to kind of talk about those colors because there's so many combinations, but typically it's like three or four colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So like I said, I will attach that um, image of the color wheel and we'll talk more about it next time because this time we really won't be working with color. We'll just be working on the drawing, um, but you'll have that to look at in case you need help. So I will do the drawing demonstration in just a second. Okay, so <clears throat> I am starting with my paper in the horizontal position. You may want to do your project in the vertical direction. I guess I would recommend that. However, for video purposes for the demonstration, it's just, it, the videos end up better if I do it this way. So that's why I'm doing it this way. So. As I said, we're going to be drawing trees and they're going to be whimsical trees, which means they're going to be kind of curvy, um, not just like a regular type of Christmas tree, okay? So I am going to start out and I'm gonna make mine look sort of like this. Okay. Now I want you to draw at least three trees and I do want one of them to be overlapping the other. Um, maybe on mine, I do want mine to be like a Christmas tree. You can make yours a Christmas tree if you'd like, but it's kind of up to you. So I'm making a star on mine and I would erase those lines so that my star just looks like one solid shape. Okay, and then a tree trunk and my tree trunk also can be kind of curvy and kind of funky looking. <clears throat> and then over here, maybe I want one, maybe I want this one that's overlapping. So right here, it's showing that it's behind this tree. And a star on that one. And erase the extra. And then one more over here. And this one, I think I'm just going to make a little bit more normal looking. Well, I guess I shouldn't say normal, but sort of. Like that, okay? Now at the bottom, I'm gonna make mine look like it has a uh, tree skirt at the bottom. Okay, 
Okay, and then I can decorate my trees. So maybe I want my trees to, um, I, like I don't want them to look just like a normal, typical Christmas tree. We're just making them kind of funky looking. like that and you kind of just decide how you would like to do it okay so I'm just gonna go kind of fast to show you some different options oh I don't know what to do on this one maybe I want this one to be like a plaid Okay, now that's all the further we're going to go today other than if you finish this part during class, you will also Sharpie. So next time I will do the coloring demonstration. If you have any questions, please let me know.